Hello. Did you know that by 2023, Norwegian salmon export turnover will reach 11.7 billion USD with a price of about 18 USD pound of salmon meat? How do people raise and process them? Find out with us right after subscribing to the channel. Have you ever tried salmon? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Salmon is packed with nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids, protein, vitamin D, vitamin B12, selenium, and iodine, promoting heart, brain, and immune health. Simple preparation methods include grilling with salt, pepper, and lemon or pan frying for a crispy texture. For variety, enjoy salmon in sushi rolls, smoked with bagels, or paired with salads and pasta. More complex recipes include salmon in passion fruit sauce or tamarind broth. With its versatility and health benefits, salmon is a delicious addition to any diet. Share this video to gather more experiences with this amazing dish. Salmon belong to the family Salmonidae, order Salmoniforms. Average length is 23 to 40 inches, the largest individual can reach 60 inches. Common weight is 4.4 to 44 pounds. The largest individual can reach 132 pounds. Raising salmon on farms is increasingly popular to meet growing consumer demand. The world's largest salmon farm in terms of current output is Moeasa, headquartered in Bergen, Norway. Moe operates in 15 countries around the world and produces more than 1.3 million tons of salmon each year. Moe uses a sustainable aquaculture system with farms located in Norway's fjords, which provide clean, cold and oxygen-rich water for fish. Moe uses many different types of farming systems, including net cages, floating ponds and onshore farming systems. Salmon eggs are harvested when the fish reach sexual maturity, typically after three to four years. Parent flocks are health checked to ensure they are disease free and produce quality eggs. Workers use hands or specialized tools to gently squeeze the fish's belly and remove the eggs, which are then washed with clean water. Finally, the eggs are sorted and placed in incubation trays. Do you know how salmon eggs are incubated? Begins with an incubation period that usually lasts from 30 to 60 days. The optimal incubation water temperature usually ranges from 4 to 10 day che. When the embryo is fully developed, it is easy to see the eyes of small salmon inside the egg. They will come out of the eggshell, 
This is a sign that the egg has hatched. Newly hatched small fish still have yolk sacs. Newly hatched fish, known as 11, are tiny, weighing less than 1 gram. They have elongated bodies, typically gray or light brown, with undeveloped fins and closed eyes. Eleven rely on water currents for movement and primarily feed on algae, zooplankton, and microorganisms. Initially, they lack a mouth and stomach, surviving on the yolk sac until they transition to solid foods. Once ready, 11 are transferred to a new tank, where staff monitor their development, ensuring they receive sufficient clean water and oxygen for optimal health. This careful acclimation process is crucial for the successful growth of salmon in aquaculture. Salmon on farms are fed synthetic pellets made from various ingredients designed to meet nutritional needs at each growth stage 40 to 50% protein, 10 to 20% fat, 10 to 20% carbohydrates, and 1 to 2% vitamins and minerals. They are typically fed two to three times daily, with the amount adjusted based on size and conditions. Workers hand feed by sprinkling food into the water. Would you like to try this feeding method? The process of handling salmon meat in a factory involves several meticulous steps to ensure quality and efficiency. After being stunned, the fish enters the processing line where a quality inspector sorts them using a two-lane sorting machine. The ergonomically designed feeding station reduces manual handling as the salmon are directed to an optimal gutting machine. The fixed speed function ensures the gut cutter operates at peak performance and the fish are fed into a fully automatic gutting machine. Some fish are transferred to a manual processing line. After gutting, the fillets undergo washing before being transferred to a cooling tank. A grader manages the distribution based on quality and weight, ensuring compliance with purchase order post specifications. Employing harmonic coefficients, the system directs fish to designated stations, processing up to 20 fish per minute, each rigorously measured prior to cutting. Initial cuts involve a neck cut, followed by a V cut along the collarbone to remove the head, a shoulder cut for optimal filleting, and a final tail removal. Subsequently, fillets move to the filleting machine for precise trimming based on individual measurements. The abdomen is automatically cut, 
and bones are collected via a conveyor belt. Following a final inspection, fillets are allocated between two to four lanes, reaching a maximum productivity of 72 fillets per minute. The pinning process, facilitated by a vacuum system, efficiently removes bones and water. Enhanced by a 200 Hz observation system, the dual lane loading system ensures accuracy and capacity, with the cutting process employing two lines simultaneously at four different angles. This rigorous process guarantees the production of high-quality fillets meeting industry standards. The automated process continues as the robot carefully places each salmon fillet into a heat-insulating filter. A vacuum cleaner removes all air from the packaging, ensuring the integrity of the fish meat. Larger fillets are then packed into styrofoam boxes and frozen before being transported to their final destination for consumption. With this, the journey of raising and processing salmon comes to a close. How do you feel about this journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.